When it started with my, my mom and dad, with Sam and, and, and Adele, and with my wife, Barbara, it was just one thought. It was just make a great product and delight the customer and do whatever it takes. Making lunches when people would come to visit so they could go explore the fields and, and enjoy the, the area. I think that really became some of the impetus by having an artist residency because people loved being up here. And we laughed as we looked outside the window, the kitchen window, thinking someday we'll make little cabins for artists to do work in the, in the fields. And uh, it's uh, exciting to see those dreams come true 32 years later. But, but when you have a, a compass that guides you to those things, to delighting the customer, other things eventually you know, fall suit. And then when we had employees starting to join the company, we realized we needed to do more than just delight the customer. Now we had people who depended upon us for their safety, for their well-being, for their family's well-being, and uh, to provide them opportunities for growth and a recognition that this could be something, uh, this could be a career for people as opposed to just a, a job they came to. And for that, it meant treating people like owners. So the first thing we did when we made a profit in 1987, I know that was seven long years of not making a profit, but in 1987 we finally made a profit and we started our profit sharing program with all the employees. Our accountant said, uh, Mark, you're running a business or is this a hobby? I said, what do you mean? You know, look at, look at what we've accomplished. He said, well, you run it like a hobby. You need to hire a controller. The ad was looking for a comptroller, which is usually a nonprofit organization. And I was delighted to find out they weren't looking for a comptroller, that it was a, a for-profit business, and they just weren't sure what they were looking for. That's when we hired Barbara Schindler in 1997, and uh, we realized that we had an incredibly talented person that could take us to the next level of the companies. There was, there was a clear course that Mark could see and uh, you know, he was a great visionary, always able to look many years out. So that was very clear. It was just how to get from where we were to where we wanted to go. That was a little bit more challenging for Mark and that's why I was an added fit to say, okay, let's really make the plans that will make that happen something we've been really uh, wrestling with for a couple of years, trying to understand our growth. And now with additional product lines that we're trying to bring to bear, next year we really need some manufacturing space here in New Berlin, but be able to have warehousing um, elsewhere. And, and after looking at many facilities, the one at Hale Street really makes the best sense for us. So it's really the first time that we're getting ahead of the, the sales coming in, uh, trying to prepare for that growth. But we feel solid about the products we're bringing to market. and. I um, feel we have the right people here to make that, make that happen. The plans are falling into place.